Should we move on to Yakuza 2? Oh no! Uh... Yeah, sure. Well... <laughs> first off, combat speed's so good. You know, <laughs> you get that right at the beginning. <laughs> yes, I think. I think, personally, I think Yakuza 2 combat is like one oh, no. of the best in the series. Cause, oh, no. Kiryu just feels so good. Kiryu is fast. His quick step cancel is actually really good because unlike other games, when you quick step cancel in Yakuza 2, you do not have to wait till the end of the animation to uh, attack again. You can attack almost immediately right after, which helps keep the uh, momentum of the combat uh, flowing. And also the fact that it's like everything about him is just step above uh almost everything is like a step above yakuza 1 kiryu i guess like yakuza 1 kiryu has like stronger crowd control but that's about it yakuza 2 kiryu is just in improving in every way and it, it really went all out in yakuza 2 they they improved a lot added so many yeah. new heat actions combat got much better uh, many many they the, Developed many staples that would be seen throughout the series in Yakuza 2. Still seen to, to their titles today. Yeah, I, like some of the heat actions that like getting reused for like literally every single game. Yeah, it's some like, are still um, used in Lost Judgment, like the um the waste the waste high object uh, heat action. You sl slam their head and then you yeah. kick them. That I think That's Snake Style can use that. Oh no! A snake Style uh, is pretty much the only style that can use that in Lost Judgment. And also the um, the um, face slamming and the, uh, I forgot, the back. Oh, uh, Essence uh, of Might? Yeah, Essence of Might. That shit's been reused since fucking Yakuza 2. And it's been, we, and it's been that way to like Yakuza 7, where it gets reused again as like an Ichiban heat action. A turn based game. Yeah, and then uh, Yakuza 2 also had the hammer hook, which even though that's existed in 3, it just feels so good in 2. It's just yeah. so weighty. It's, it's literally like the best. It's literally like the best rush combo in 3. I mean, people say that Yakuza 3 is all about like, oh yeah, screw, 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 triangle, triangle. Wait till they play Yakuza 2. Yeah, that was. I mean, when I first started playing Yakuza 2. I, I knew I had to get that upgrade immediately. Yeah, cause that's, that's like the best, it's literally the best move in the game. It feels like your heat gauge like extremely fast, it feels really good to use, and also, um, it's just like, it's like the first double finisher in the series, so you gotta get that, you know, right now. And, um, I feel like, I feel, I, I think it's a bit of a shame that they kind of never went back to that, kind of that feeling of like the weight, the weightiness of the PS2 games and like the sound effects overall cause like... Oh yeah, it's so crunchy. You, you just... You just it really stomp makes... on someone's face. <laughs> you just stomp on someone's face and you go... <laughs> yeah, and then Yakuza 3 you kind of, it's just very soft in comparison. Yes, I do, no! I do think Yakuza 3 still maintains that kind of crunchiness, but... I think that kind of crunchiness gets a lot more lost in Yakuza 4, and then in Yakuza 5, it is just kind of lost completely. <laughs> it sucks. But yeah. That's actually, actually one of the reasons why I don't like Yakuza 5 combat, because like it doesn't feel satisfying in comparison to the other games. Yeah, Yakuza 2 went for more one-on-one -on -one approach as compared to 1, so that's why most of the bosses, I think, are just one on ones, and it works very well. Kiryu is clearly designed around that, and of course, if you have something like the South Pole bracelet, it just gets comes so much better. Get out of here! Oh yeah, the South Pole bracelet. Yo, when I discovered that, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, I, I really do be like changing the Yakuza 2 meta game because I, I haven't seen anyone use that unless some random Japanese player used it, but I wouldn't know.
I think I saw one video of a guy using a South Pop bracelet, like a Joe Moon video, but he doesn't combo with it, he just like does square it's three. Uh yeah, the South Pop bracelet do that. That shit's OP dude. The guard breaks, it adds extra hit stun and allows you to combo in Yakuza 2. Yeah. And that shit feels so good to you. Before that it was kind of like, well you just attack from the front, just hope they take it, but now with the Southpaw bracelet you can actually combo bosses and chain attacks yeah. from behind like you see in the other games. So it wasn't something that was first established in something like Kenzan or Yakuza 3 was in 2, but in a way it was locked behind an yeah. item. Still, it's a very good one. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I don't. I kind of. It's kind of hard to. I don't think it's intended, but I don't care. Who cares? It's really good. And um, yeah, I just feel like. I mean, I think it's a bit of a shame that the PS2 games get overlooked because I think Yakuza One and especially Yakuza Two are some of the best combat in the series. And I think personally, I think Yakuza Two combat is way better than Kiwami Two's. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely. When I started with Kiwami 2, I didn't really enjoy it as much, but then I started playing the PS PS2 or the remaster more accurately, and it just felt so good. It was, it's one of my, my favorites. It's very fun, and Kitty feels powerful, and it's powerful in a good way. It's not like when you, in the Dragon Engine games, when you get like 300 attack, wiped them out, one heat action. It's like, oh, <laughs> well, yeah. heat action that damage is pretty busted. Yucks the two. Yucks the two, yeah. But, uh, you know, it feels good. Some bosses have like, what, five health bars, six? Yeah, it's definitely a lot more balanced around the experience. You're not gonna be killing bosses with one heat action like you want me to. But, uh, I, I feel like, Yucks the two combat. I feel like I like fighting group fights and boss fights more in, in Yucks the two than you want me to, where. It kind of feels like I'm just doing the exact same thing over and over again. Just like doing like, oh yeah, I got, I got a parry, I got a dodge punch, and I got a charge attack. Yeah, okay. whenever like that, so. I see you no know, damages of Kiwami 2, it's like pretty much the same exact thing. I mean, I don't doubt that it's not difficult, but it's just the same combo over and over again. And well. It's difficult in that the physics will sometimes like screw you over because sometimes Keely will just randomly miss or the opponent will literally fly too far or an object will literally get in the way of Keely and if he cannot combo anymore, the combo is dead. You, you, you just gotta like uh, reset it. Yeah, and but... another pro of Yakuza 2 I'd say it has one of the best uh, starting game combat because first yeah, of all we I... have the best combat uh, combo speed in the entire series right at the beginning and you have <laughs> one of the most powerful heat actions from the beginning which is the um back wall heat action that could take out almost uh, the entire yeah. boss's health bar <laughs> yeah <laughs> yakuza, yakuza 2 combat is definitely one of those games where um, unlike other yakuza games where sometimes like the combat is like oh yeah dude you just you start off like Pretty shit at the beginning, and then you just gotta it become. Don't worry, guy. Don't worry. It becomes fun later on. You just gotta start for this really shitty character at the beginning. Yakuza 2 just like ah, nah, yeah, nah. You can just have fun right at the beginning of the game. That's a. I think that's a pretty big pro in mind. Yakuza 2. Yeah, I wish the other games sort of learned from that. You know, having highest combo speed from the beginning. Because personally, for me, I find it quite jarring when you have really low combo speed at the beginning but then having it from the start it just makes it more f feel more fluid from the beginning it's not like you're trying to drag yourself to getting the upgrades but uh yeah overall very strong entry in the series and one of my favorites Yakuza 2 yeah I, I do hope favorite. more people will be able to give it a try um like you said yeah. it is overlooked I well Admittedly, I did too when I first got into Yakuza. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't really know what the games were like. Then I started <laughs> seeing it. I played it for myself. And I thought, oh, these this is great. Yeah. I feel like the, the HG remasters, they definitely should have been localized. Because those are like the definitive way to play the games. They're just definitively better experiences than the trilogy remasters 
or um Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 because those those remasters like don't screw up anything as far as I know, and that they just improve the game overall instead of just like screwing something up like Yakuza 3, 4, and 5. Yeah. Hey guys. Uh, so hope you all enjoyed this video. This one took a while to upload. Mostly because I had to do a lot of editing and this is kind of the first time that I had to edit something like this, so yeah. Um, just, you know, just think of this as a, um, a little birthday special because, yeah, by the time this video gets uploaded and published, it's my birthday. So yeah, <laughs> thanks guys. It's been a while ride, you know. Been in around more than, a little more over than a year since I first started this channel, so. Yeah, that's crazy, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you had any comments, concerns, criticisms about this, just uh, put them in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and all that.